decided that I wanted to be a screenwriter in high school. I was really interested in just movies in general, and I really had this like creative side that I wanted to unleash. I started to write um, just stories, and then I realized I could write stories for the screen, and I, I really wanted to do that more and get like help and, and learn how to do it better. I didn't know screenwriting could be like a real career. I didn't know you could go to school for it. Um, but once I did, I found LMU and the program looked like amazing, like nothing I had ever really seen before. By the time I got to LMU, I was really looking for a creative outlet and it's been, yeah, it's been great. And I hope to continue that for like the rest of my life. <laughs> My first day was really fun, but very stressful. My bags got lost at the airport, <laughs> uh, but it all got better when I came in here and everyone was very helpful, first at the hostel and then walking outside and seeing a city that I really didn't know what to expect was a good way to ground me so I wouldn't panic. And then I got everything back and it was all handled. And so ultimately I think it was a, a great day. This was new to me in the sense that I've never quite been to a place like Hungary and so it was, it was great to see and I remember on my first day just walking down the street and being enamored with like the city. You don't, you don't see architecture like this anywhere else. I guess my, my first day was really fascinating. I got here um, I just remember how nice everyone was That's true. someone like welcomed us here at the hostel mm -hmm. and like showed us around and told us like what like the hostel has to offer and I was just so surprised I mean I was aware like of what what a hostel might be like but I've never lived in one before all right so come on in right here is the bathroom and over here is the kitchen hi Eva <laughs> Um, and then just over here is my room, here's my bed, and then we get to my favorite part about this place, the view. When I got here, I was in awe of how nice my space was. Um, I didn't, because I've heard of other programs, and some of my friends in other programs in like London and whatever, they have like the teeniest little space with the smallest like beds, and they're all like compact in this little room. I was so happy to find that like I have this it's such a nice space and I have a kitchen. It was it was really nice. And then I opened my window and right outside is the museum. Mm -hmm. So it's beautiful and I've just enjoyed my time here. It's so cool, like the the drawings on the walls, the little knickknacks everywhere. It makes it feel very it it's very easy to like settle into um, and it's in such a great location. There's so many metro stations like right around the corner. Um, it's in such a nice vibrant part of the city. Um, I love the neighborhood that we're in and it's been very easy to be here and live here. So this is the hostel where we've been living at for the past couple of months. This is the front room and then if you come through here we've got two beds, a third bed and then kind of a, a makeshift living room as well. This is my roommate, Chase. Right, so you coming to class? Give me five, I'll catch up with you. All right, I'm heading out. All right, see you then. All right. So I'm about to head out to one of my classes at the Budapest Film Academy. It's like a five minute walk, and I usually like to leave a little early to get a coffee or to get something to eat, so let's go. I was a student of Budapest Film Academy. I took the class of script writing and the film production. And after that, I received the perfect opportunity to have a practice. And uh, I was a line producer in a short movie directed by Hodi Yeno, who is the owner and the teacher of Budapest Film Academy. And even more, he is a brilliant film director. I used to work with the students of Budapest Film Academy and also with the very professional Hungarian team of uh, cinematographers. I'm very grateful for this opportunity. It was very cool, guys. And also, right now, I have a page, my own page as a line producer on IMDb, and that is freaking cool. Thanks very much.
We are at the campus of Ötves Loránd University. This is where we hold all of our classes with the Budapest Film Academy, which is very convenient because the campus is located right in the heart of Budapest. Let me show you around a little bit, okay? We are proud of our partners since this is the oldest and most prestigious Budapest University. I want you to understand the business side of Hollywood television, okay? It's a business. We teach at the Budapest Film Academy various filmmaking skills. We believe in cross-platform education. What that means is that uh, every filmmaking field is connected to the other one. So you cannot be a great director without knowing about screenwriting, certainly, but you need to know about cinematography, editing, even producing. You can't be a great screenwriter without knowing the needs of the director, without understanding how your script is going to cost money eventually. The lectures here are different You'll have multiple teachers come in and teach you what they know, whereas in the United States for one term, it's usually just one teacher. So it, it's been very interesting to have this revolving door of teachers coming in and you're meeting someone with a different perspective every week. I think the difference is mainly in the style of teaching. Here is a lot lecture-based, but you know, you're know you able to get deeper into the inner workings of film and screenwriting, where. Like we're studying one movie throughout four weeks. And so you can really get detailed and get a lot of information on things like structure, character motivation. It's definitely helpful to have two different ways and learning like from an American prof professor and all these Hungarian professors. But it is also very nice to get all these different perspectives and points of view. Like being able to have four or five teachers in class has been uh, so great because there's so much to learn from, from each person. I like to give the variety to the students because we all make movies differently and we all also teach it differently. And I want the students to be able to make their own choices and say, I like this approach or I like the other approach or I like the mix of those two approaches. Do you know what we do in TV that we don't do in film? Pilots. Pilots, very good. We film pilots. So make sure that you go in thinking, what are the questions I want people to ask? So again, let's dive in. There are two parts for the cinematography course of the Budapest Film Academy. First of all, it's teaching the technical aspects of filmmaking and cinematography, such as lighting and the technical parameters of a camera and so on. But the other very, very important aspect is teaching a common language the language of cinema. If it's a dark corner in an image, you can't preserve details there. One, only one. In this way, whoever participates in the course, let it be a cinematographer, any kind of camera person, or a scriptwriter or a director, it will make them communicate with each other much effectively when they are working on a story together. I am the studio boss. I need some stories. I am reaching out to some talented new writers that I've heard about. And these are your options. First of all, this is a really great program. Um, I'm here because I really love just the way it's taught and teach the way we teach authentically. I don't feel like there's some formula. You can come in and teach however. And so I love that. I'll give you my sort of angle that I'm going to use. Often as a director, that's, that's the thing you can play with. Tiny subconscious signs of, of who's dominating a scene. I see from my side a real growing up factor. The first time when generally a group arrives and if they have any kind of problem, they call home. Towards the end of the trip, they become way more independent oh, and they solve their problems. And Well, and just so you know, one of the things we tell them and what I specifically tell them is, one, I'm not going to baby you, you are adults. 
and it's like a, a crash course in adulthood, right? They have to figure things out. But like you said, it's not about just always calling home. It's about making the, the kinds of choices as an adult, you're here. So talk to me, talk to you, you know, reach out to those that are here. And I think that they're doing it, um, which makes me really happy because you know, it's like, welcome to the real world and welcome to adulthood. But they get to do it in a way that still they're very supported. Protected And protected, also. right, in this program. And I think that's what's great. Anything that they need, it's going to be taken care of. I don't think I'm telling you a big secret when I say that filmmaking is an expensive genre. Now, from film lovers, I have a good news. Hollywood to the zero has arrived and it is becoming less and less expensive to actually produce a film. We are making a lot of films and film clips using AI. I would like to show you these practical examples. In the Budapest Film Academy course, we will talk about this plus how we can use AI in script writing, in visual effects, sound, how we can create soundtracks, how we can help cinematographers. You can't compete with AI in the areas where AI is strong. We have to focus on the areas where AI is weak. We need to improve our skills there. That's where we need to collaborate with it more because then we can raise the quality of our work to the highest possible level. In this we want to transfer the experience that we have gained over the years with AI. How an independent filmmaker can compete on his own with the biggest studios in Hollywood. And the Oscar goes to... Sing. Christoph Dea. Hungary is unique in the film industry because for a tiny country like this, it's got an immense amount of knowledge. If you just look at all the films from the latest Oscars that were shot in Hungary, a lot of huge, big blockbuster movies and artistically super interesting films are being shot in Hungary as well. So it really is a unique little country in the middle of Europe for film industry professionals and students. Thank you so much to the Academy for this incredible award. And here I feel like, at least at Budapest Film Academy, like you have the chance to like slow down a little bit more and like you can ask any questions that you want, like no one's gonna cut you off. Like you can, yeah, like take things a little more at your own pace and um, it doesn't feel like you have to like sort of rush through anything, like that, that pressure's not really there. Um, and I really appreciate that. I think it's a, a welcome change for me, at least. Yeah, I agree. It's kind of a breath of fresh air yeah. from like in comparison. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit less of a workload, which is nice mm -hmm. so that when I am like traveling on weekends and sightseeing in Budapest, I can feel free to do so without like the pressure of all this work that mm -hmm. I'd normally have to do back in the States at these in these classes. Mm -hmm. um, but at, at the same time, I am learning a lot in the classes. The lectures are really great and like filled with compelling content. It's not necessarily more writing than at home, but it is like only writing, yeah. which I thought was really awesome because I got to just like purely focus on the career that I hope to have one day instead mm -hmm. of having to also take other classes that maybe are interesting, but not my focal point. So I thought it was, it was a really great experience to hone sort of my, my skill there. One thing that I thought was really helpful in the Hungarian classes is there were two uh, films that we that he kind of like walked us through scene by scene and like broke down very in depth about specific techniques that were used and structure, decoding symbols and stuff. And I thought that was really cool and unique and I hadn't done something like that uh, in Los Angeles. So uh, it was cool to get really specific with like one or two particular films. We've gone a lot of places together. We'll, we'll go out to a, a lot of bars here, a lot of restaurants. Uh, we'll go sit by the river. Yeah, a lot of traveling, a lot of just spending time with each other out to restaurants now that it's nice out. That was a lot of fun, uh, and I expect to be doing a lot more outdoor activities. 
and it's so central. I was like, oh, I'll be able to travel if I go. I've been quite to quite a few, <laughs> quite a few places. So I visited London. I've also, for one day, visited Paris. Uh, just this past week, I went to Italy. I visited Lake Como. I went to Greece as well for two days. This past weekend, I was in Spain. I went to Madrid and Malaga, which was very beautiful. <laughs> The nightlife. The nightlife is very fun. It's yeah. very fun. It's almost <laughs> too fun. <laughs> almost too fun, yeah. It's super walkable, it's inexpensive, it's yeah. cool. There's the like ruin bars especially are not like any bars or clubs that I've ever been to in the States. Yeah. Um and they're maybe even a little bit more fun sometimes. Mm -hmm. They stay open longer. It's but one of the best parts, yeah. I would say. From our group, I actually knew most people. You and I had yeah. a class together, and we had a class with someone else on this trip. So it's kind of a, a small community of screenwriters at Loyola Marymount. So there's a good chance that everyone on this trip knew at least one or two other people. Pretty early on, the three of us went to the Danube and sat and talked about how this mm -hmm. was like the new city we were living in, and that was, to me, a pretty cool moment mm -hmm. of um, really accepting what the coming months were about to be and getting really excited about it. Um, so that was a pretty formative memory yeah. for me here, I think. I knew some people, um, like I had a class with Juliet, I had some classes with some other people, but we weren't exactly like best friends, we weren't very close. And so it's been really nice to like get closer and get to know everyone. I feel like we've been able to become like closer friends, more of a tight-knit group, like we, we go out and do things together. And... One of the best things about study abroad is that these students live together, study together, sometimes they travel together. They will form a bond, lasting friendships, and that will be with them once they finish the school and they give each other's advice, they can read each other's script. It will help them to adjust to real life. Uh, my overall experience has been amazing. Uh, I've been able to go to so many like countries and places I haven't been to before, as well as just been able, being able to like live in a new city for like a long period of time, you know, you get to good areas to go, spots to eat, like stuff, stuff like that. And also just being here with like you guys and, and getting to meet new people has been a, a great experience. I agree. I definitely think the group that we're here with is amazing to get to know everybody and just like sort of being able to call this place home for four months has been great. And mm -hmm. I don't know whenever like else in my life I'll be able to do that. So yeah. um, I'm definitely very grateful and I've had like, I've had the best time. great to be somewhere else and writing all the time and to kind of step out of my comfort zone. I got to learn a lot, not only about other countries, but also about myself um, and learn kind of where my limits are and what I can do to push those and make myself better, but uh, also had a lot of fun and <laughs> a great time here, yeah. Every day wasn't an absolute fairy tale, but a lot of them were. And that's also what taught me a lot about myself, kind of like you were saying. and. That's part of the reason I bonded so much with the people I was on this trip with. Now like some of my best friends. I got to do a lot of writing. That was super amazing. Have a lot of fun at the same time. You definitely learn a lot about your limitations and where you're at. Uh, as, as a writer. I've gotten more confident in my writing. Um, I've never really had the chance to just write and, and really suss out like my story, really pay attention to like dialogue and stuff. And I think it's also like hearing everyone else's stories because like we workshop all our, our writing has made me a better writer. I definitely think that being able to work on a full feature length script and start a new idea and develop a new story with other people is such a great opportunity and I'm definitely something that I'm proud of. <laughs> We're in our early 20s, right? Yeah. So it's a, it's a, You're right. It's a pretty, it's a, a it's a pretty um, incredible start. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think so. It's true. I, I would say and, and yeah. I feel like we've all learned a lot about who we are as, mm -hmm. as people. Yeah. My mom came out here, she studied in Prague like 30 years ago. And so when we went to Prague, there were like tears in her eyes as she was like walking through the street and remembering all the old places that she used to go. So I want to have that experience too, yeah.